behind me, so I'm in the spirit. All right. Something about your faces on the call and some new ones. Nice to meet a lot of you and nice to see a lot of familiar faces as well. So excited. I have the questions, but I want you to ask them for me. Okay. Right. Yeah, and, so and I wanted to just open it up by saying welcome to so many customers that this is their first Zoom and their first time just getting on in community with us. I think that you know, if you're not used to this sort of online space and online community, it can feel a little vulnerable to hop on and to put your camera on and to be a part of this all. So I wanted to say welcome to all those clients that hopped on this morning. Um, I think that, you know, the goal for us is for you to feel emotionally connected to starting job one in January. And we are so lucky that Jen agreed to come on and to do this. We could have pressed play on a sample workout, but she actually agreed to come and speak and answer some questions for us. And it's a huge opportunity because for so many of you, this might be the first time you're putting your heart and soul into a program. And I really truly believe that if you feel a little bit more connected to Jennifer, you're going to be pressing play and feel like my girl's telling me I got to go all out. So I'm going to go all out. So we're so excited you're here guys. The program is five days a week, 20 minutes a day. We know the basic details. If you don't, we'll send you an info email. This call is going to be so much more than that. Um, and I want to kick it off by asking Jen, okay, you've been a trainer for so many years. This is your passion. You are incredible at it. You are a professional. We have so many skeptics saying, but 20 minutes, is it enough? I would love to hear you speak to that, to the science behind it, to why it's 20 minutes. Great, great question and a great misconception of 20 minute workouts. So 20 minutes, why 20 minutes? Well, it's been studied that actually 15 minutes can be quite effective on a consistent basis. So when we're talking about the 20 minutes, depends what you're getting done in those 20 minutes. The fact that you're being consistently moving your body in a positive way for at least 15 minutes on a daily basis will lead to a healthier life, longevity, better performance versus doing one or two or three longer workouts and then eventually not being consistent with those. So those small time frames add up. So that's the science behind it. Now, why is this 20 minute workout different from so many other 20 minute workouts you might find on say YouTube? The difference is, is what we're achieving in each of these sessions. So job one is lined up, as she mentioned, five days a week, 20 minutes a day, but those days are all very intentional. And that's one big thing with me. I've done this, again, as she mentioned, for years working with clients one-on-one, -on -one, that's where I started. And when I started, I started in a gym and the norm was 60 minute sessions with your personal trainer. Over time, I realized people couldn't always show up for that session. They call me late, cancel, you know, those type of things. Life happens. Because 60 minutes is a hard time frame to, to reach. And then when home fitness started to become a thing, that time frame still became a challenge for some people to be consistent with. So the week is broken up in three strength days, two cardio days, which from my experience has been the most ideal balance of those two components. You always have somebody who's doing too much of something and it's all about balance. In those 20 minutes, not a second's wasted so that you're truly getting the most of every minute we make it matter, whether that be the focus strength or whether that be cardiovascular endurance. So those are the two formats. Why 20 minutes? It's proven to be effective. This program itself is highly effective and we proved that with our test groups. So the point being, is not only is the science there, but my own experience, because what the roadblock for so many people is, is time in order to be consistent. So I created this concept of train less, gain more. And what that means is training less, but with more intention and gaining more, whether that be, because I don't assume everyone's goal is to lose weight. And I, I would hate to live in a world that that's how we think, but that it could be heightened performance, muscle gaining, you know, increasing your muscle mass, whatever it is, you're going to gain a lot more time 
as well while achieving those results. So train less, gain more is my motto. And I applied that to job one. It was very important that these 20 minutes, it's not the work time of 20 minutes, it's the actual I press play and I'm done and it's 20 minutes. Because I did have the option to, to go a couple seconds or a few minutes over and I said, absolutely not. I want the person, especially somebody new to Beachbody, comes in and, oh, it's 20 minutes and it's 20 minutes. Because my own personal experience when I had the J method on a previous app, there was this robot. She would tell you what the next move was. She'd be like, next move, da da da. And then I would cue you through the move. Well, this robot, she took time to tell me that. And what happened was when the session said 25 minutes and it really was 28, people started to complain. So I took everyone's feedback over years from when I started back in that 24 hour fitness gym when I was you know, in college to now. And I've met those demands so that this program truly reaches everyone. I love that. And I love hearing you talk about the goal being consistency. I really think that that's something that is the magic sauce of Beachbody, right? You don't have to have that travel time to go and, and you're able to find this consistent lifestyle. Um, one of the questions I really wanted to ask you was, what do you think is the difference maker to clients that follow through on their goals and, and those that don't? Speaking of my own personal experience with my clients, I think it comes down to accountability and support in terms of the follow through. So whether that be a support group or the support of whoever's in their household, whether even if you're alone, right? So if you're alone, it's definitely more challenging to have that support. That's where online support can be available to you, whether it's an influencer you're following on Instagram or you, whatever you feel connected to is going to support you. And then accountability, major key there. So personally with my clients, they're accountable to show up to the session because they're first of all paying for the session. When you pay for something, you have a heightened chance of you actually showing up for it, but you'd be surprised sometimes that's not, that's not enough. But it's the accountability factor. And that's what all of you do. You coaches, you run businesses, yes, you're business owners, but you're also offering something so rare in this health and fitness industry, which is accountability and support. And you really can run with it and take it to, to new heights with what that means. I'm sure if you're just starting, it might not feel like you're at that point, but that's what you're building. You are doing that for someone like me. I'm one person. I can only reach so many people. You're truly doing the hard work. And I you know, just appreciate all of you for what you do, no matter if you're just starting or if you've been doing this for seven, eight years. I love that. And, and it was a huge component when advertising this call to jump on and be here is get some accountability by being vulnerable in these communities, right? I think that it's huge and, it, and I agree it is the magic sauce. Um, okay, speaking of um, mindset, is there a mindset component to this program? People want to know, like, are you going to be talking through it? Or are you going to be offering mindset? Not only am I accompanying you through the entire session, meaning I don't stop, so I don't expect you to stop, but yes, I am also speaking to you. When we talk about mindset, this is just something that naturally comes out of me, so it's not forced. It's not I'm writing something on a, a whiteboard and saying this is the message of the day. It's something that just comes out from within because I'm also telling myself these same things because I know what it feels like to struggle. I know what it feels like to not have things come easy to you. Mindset is the number one factor in your ability to do just about anything is how you set your mind. So if you let doubt come in and play around with you, then expect not to be able to open doors, right? So you have to be able to shut doubt out so that you can walk through doors. When it comes to mindset, it goes hand in hand with fitness. For you to accomplish challenging things that push you, not just to your limits, but past them just a hair, 
so that you improve over time. It's gonna take a strong mind to achieve that. So job one is all about that as well, without again, it feeling forced or overdone and not taking away from what we're trying to get done, which is the work, the work. I love that. There's been lots of times since I did your test group where I'm like, oh my God, I need to, I need to record that. But I'm like, no, 20 minute mindset, keep going, keep working out. And I rewind later. Um, okay, we're going to switch gears a little bit. So, you know, um, as coaches, we've shown a lot of the before and after results of job one, which there's been some incredible ones for just a four week program. Um, but I always like to tell people that these are women that have gone all in on the workouts and all in on the nutrition. And I think it's so important to be transparent about that. So we would love to hear just your thoughts on nutrition and what you sort of feel is important to maximize results when it comes to nutrition. Good point to make. Uh, when I Let's talk about my test group that helped me create job one. This test group did not do anything extreme in terms of nutrition. They had opportunities to use the Beachbody products. But there was, there, again, real people, not coach, I mean, coaches were real people, trust me, but people who don't know what Beachbody was, they did not know who I was at all. So it was a great group to help create this program. Individuals from all different levels who reached real results in a realistic time frame. So not eight to 12 months, like, anywhere from one to three months achieving those results that you see. So those big results that Beachbody is showing, those are three month results without restriction, without elimination, without a strict diet either. So keep that in mind when you're seeing those results that they are real and we were very intentional, my team, on providing real results because why would you want to sell a program that doesn't achieve great things, right? With, you know, no trickery, no gimmicks. Does nutrition play an important part? Absolutely. And I was very hands-on with that test group in terms of speaking to them after each session. And remember the choices you make throughout the day. You chose to do these 20 minutes here. So everything you accomplished here, let's not go, let it go to waste. So always offering that support which is very important. So nutrition, that's where you all come into play. That's how you offer that to yourselves and to each other, is, is a huge part, a huge component. But how do you achieve a healthier lifestyle without restrictive measures? And that is my big goal with job one, is to teach people that you don't you have to do extreme things to get great results life-lasting results. The last thing I want to see someone do is go through life and constantly fluctuate, struggle, have to always gravitate towards the next big thing. Like right now, I feel like IF, intermittent fasting, is like the hot thing in terms of losing weight when it's really studied to help improve the longevity, hormone control, but not weight loss. Or, oh, I'm going to do that like, super intense program because it's going to kick my butt and I'm going to feel like, you know, just totally depleted afterwards. Who wants to feel like that either? Unless you're really up for that challenge. You just like maybe a once in a while thing, but to beat yourself up physically and emotionally with food, because food does play an emotional part and your training does affect you emotionally as well. It's very important with job one, I teach people we don't need to do those extreme things for long amounts of time, sit on an elliptical machine for an hour, whatever the case may be, to get great results. It's being consistent, so let's go back to that, being consistent. How do you be consistent? You have to look forward to something you wanna to come to, and that is what I'm probably most proud of job one is creating something that offers that, but also has to meet your lifestyle. So you're going to have a really hard time saying, I don't have time for 20 minutes. I can't make those 20 minutes happen because I'm sure you're on your phone for 20 minutes scrolling. So there's your 20 minutes right there. Or even if you are scrolling and you're like, Oh my God, hold on. I got to go pick up the kids. 
uh, I just wasted all this time. Oh, you know what? My workout is only 20 minutes. I can probably, I'm going to do that right now. Let's go. Because you know, or if you don't know, you'll learn when you push play on those 20 minutes, I'm not playing around. I'm not wasting your time. I'm ensuring and investing in you in these 20 minutes. So you have a trainer such as myself, very passionate one, who wants you to achieve great things in this session and overall with job one and beyond. Absolutely. I think that's one of the most common things I've heard said is JJ's not messing around. Like after they press play on the first couple ones, especially the first cardio, cardio one, it's like, hi, we're here to play. Um, okay, just to round out the nutrition chats, we've had just sort of a fun one. What are your favorite proteins and what are your favorite carbs? Just because we love to know what JJ's eating. Okay, so it you know, is there anybody who's vegetarian, vegan on the call? Okay, so maybe there is. Yes, so some is are there? Yeah, I'm sure. So yes, Natasha, for example. So obviously it's gonna be a little different when we when we talk about protein, but I like all the food and I'll tell you what my easy go-tos are. So one of my principles is prioritizing protein, right? And what does that mean? Especially for women, for some reason, we, we tend to restrict ourselves. We don't focus on that. We're focusing on restricting carbs or you know, doing X, Y, or Z. If you focus on the good stuff, right, and what your body actually needs to achieve the results you're, you're seeking, rather than focusing on what you can't have, your life will just be better in general. You're going to have less emotional distress tied to food. So for instance, I'm going through life and I'm thinking I'm fueling myself when I eat food, right? So one of my mottos is taste everything, eat only what you need to fuel yourself. So that could mean if I go to a party, I'm going to taste everything that I actually want to taste because I don't go through life saying, oh, I can't have a Triscuit or whatever the thing might be because they're bad for you. Nothing is bad for you, but there's definitely better choices. So let me tell you some of my better for you choices. They are, when it comes to proteins, I absolutely love lean meats like i love fish i love chicken i love a new york strip like these are the that's the kind of meat i usually go to when it's steak it's new york strip dry aged because it's a leaner cut i feel like a lot of times we think filet mignon is a lean cut of meat it's not it's so again so that's my steak i go to chicken breast ground chicken is a go-to because it's so easy to cook uh, fish, I love salmon, I love halibut. I don't fuss it over, I just simple, put it in the oven, voila, we're done, okay? When it comes to carbohydrates, oh, I love all the carbs too. I absolutely love sourdough, but only if it's like good. Like, and I'm not going to the grocery store getting some random loaf of sourdough bread. I mean, this is like farmer's market, somebody made this with some love. I probably should learn how to make it, but then I would just be, just be, carb loading, uh, which would be great if I need it at some point. But my point is, I love sourdough bread. I love French bread when I'm in France. I love croissants, okay? But what do I usually eat? I usually eat a lot of fruits, a lot of vegetables. The fruits that I eat are lower on the glycemic index. I love papaya. I do love bananas. I'm like crazy about bananas pre and post workout. They're just the simplest sugar to get in you. That's not low on the glycemic index. I love blueberries, I love raspberries, so much fiber in raspberries, it's ridiculous. Now, what other carbs do I love? I love sweet potatoes. I love Japanese sweet potato, which are a little whiter, fleshier, darker on the outside. I love potatoes in general. Do I love pasta? Yes, but pasta is a tough one because if you look at the macronutrients, you're like, oh, I can, like how much? And then you boil it and then it expands, so it's always, very impressive when you do eat pasta, how much you can actually have it stay within your realm. So I do, I do enjoy pasta from time to time. Rice, brown, white, black, all the colors of rice, I don't care. I love rice. Uh, that's a great carbohydrate. And then, you know what, I used to eat a lot of oatmeal and I don't anymore. And I don't, 
I, I can't explain why I just am over it. You know, just fell out of love with it. So why am I still eating it? I feel like a lot of times someone says steel cuts. Yes. I used to eat the steel cuts. Um, I feel like a lot of times we eat things and we don't really like them. We eat them because we were told they're good for us. And in fact, if you start your day with a bowl of oatmeal, are you going to feel full? Of course, hundred percent. Does it have a lot of protein in it? Not so much like five grams here. Okay. You have to add a bunch of stuff. Every time you add stuff, it just adds calories. And do you even like it? Like always ask yourself, do I even like this? That's so important when we approach food. So those are some of my things I like. I also like when we go back to protein because you have to try to find the protein where you can is um, Icelandic yogurt, which is called skier. I don't know if you have that. It's kind of like, it's just like Greek yogurt, but made a different way, how they make it in Iceland. And it has a higher protein content, anywhere from 17 to 19 grams for a three fourths of a cup, which you add some, someone asked, someone mentioned flax seed, chia seed, hemp seed, whatever you want to amp up the protein, add some berries. And that is a great post-workout meal if you don't want to have to shake. Um, I love that. And you're speaking to me. I think that after doing years and years of meal plans, something that I make sure clients do is try new things, right? Because if we're creating a healthy lifestyle, that's no restrictions. It has to be things you enjoy. So shoving, yes. like choking down the oatmeal every morning doesn't actually help you create a beautiful, healthy, sustainable lifestyle. So I really love that you mentioned that. Um, okay, we only have time for a few more questions. I would love to hear what your level of recovery you suggest on the weekends is. Again, going back to, I think so many women overtrain and are going to be doing this 20 minutes and wrapping their head around. Is that enough? What do you, what does the weekend look like in terms of active recovery or no movement or? So I want you to think of job one as your base that creates a solid foundation that you can do so many things upon meaning. If Saturday comes around and you want to do a Zoom with your team or your close group of friends, you can absolutely do any workout because you know you've already created the solid foundation. It's not going to hinder your results. Now, if you're doing job one plus another program, that's mind boggling to me because this is an effective program all on its own. We don't need to do more because what more does is create more training volume and too much training volume doesn't always lead to the results you want, especially if you're doing two different programs. But if you're doing a class, say like on body, they have so many great live interactive classes or on demand, and it's a body burn crush or body burn sculpt or whatever the words are, you know, you can do that. It's almost like a test. I want you to see those live classes as tests. It's like, can I keep up with the pace? If you went to, a yoga place or a Pilates place or a beach boot camp with your friends out in real life. It'd be the same thing. You don't know what you're about to get. You don't know what the, you know, you kind of know what the format is. You don't know what the moves are. It's going to be a little longer, 30 minutes. That's something you can easily do. Cycling. I absolutely love cycling. I think if you have the bike, it's a great way to do cardio. If you like it, if you don't like it, don't, don't do it. <laughs> You could, the weekends could be, the weekends could be very active. So there's two different rests. There's a passive rest. That's me sitting on the couch, not moving my body or me going to get a massage because I'm not massaging myself. That's passive. Active is me actively taking an approach to my recovery. I'm not doing something too much. So that could be a walk. If you're a runner, it could be a very light jog. It could be cycling at a lower intensity, swimming. It could be me foam rolling, stretching, yoga, again, lower intensity to get the blood flow going through the muscles to help them recover. So that's what a weekend would look like for me personally using job one. It could also be an opportunity. You know what? I have more time. I'm going to go overtime. And when I mean overtime, I'm going to do glutes and core 40 minutes. I have 40 minutes. Boom. Those two stacked, done. So that's another option right there in terms of how to use the overtime that comes with job one. Because I'm not gonna assume that everybody is 
okay with just 20 minutes. But once you, in fact, do the 20 minutes, they're going to surprise you. Because what I accomplished in these 20 minutes, I could have easily, the same work, the same moves, the same sets and reps, could have just lingered it out and gave you a runtime of 30 minutes. Do you understand what I'm saying? I could have had the cast. Or we could have been like, what's up, Roger? How you feeling? Yeah. Oh, you see Roger's form over here? Like, that's not helping you get an effective workout in just 20 minutes. So Roger couldn't be with us. It's just you and me. So that we could have the most amount of engagement possible in between a screen. So I've been doing this for a long time. I don't want to date myself, but in 2007, I started online training clients in my garage, in their basement. I was in France, they were in New York, and we did that over Skype as the platform. So y'all remember Skype? Yeah, no one remembers it anymore. But they used to exist and it helped me connect with people. So that's what I brought with job one, was that ability to connect with you, because I'm talking to you. I'm not talking to anybody else. I'm not talking to my camera guy, I'm talking to you. Okay, we have one minute left, but I do have two questions I wanna ask. Also. Nobody misses Roger. I love that there's no cast. Bye bye, Roger boy. So thank you for that. Okay, so the last two. I'm like, I'm praying that there's not have ever been a Roger in a cast. <laughs> I kind of just put a real random name. He's offended. Okay, so <laughs> one question I wanted to make sure we ask because I know there are some people that are coming off an injury. We had someone sp give a specific situation in the chat, but just as a general, you know, is this suitable for post injury clients? Are there modifications for low impact? And then I want to wrap the call with this question that I think is really important that we want to know about you is what is your personal goal for 2022? Okay, perfect. So when it comes to post injury, especially a specific injury, I always suggest you work with a physical therapist. And I know physical therapy is in our heads. We had to have a surgery, knee replacement. No, you can find a great physical therapist that treats you. I am treated with physical therapist on a weekly basis for prehab. Knock on wood or whatever I can right here on the floor. I have never experienced an injury because I'm proactively taking care of my body. Now, that being said, that's not what you should do. You should work with a physical therapist on a weekly basis. This is my job. But you, if you're injured or you feel injured, you should consult with one. Then you seek their approval. It's interesting, I had somebody message me, oh, my physical therapist, I showed them job one and they said this is okay for me because like, they just love what they see. And I was like, wow, that's a great compliment. I appreciate that because it comes down to what we're getting done. This is functional training. So this helps you be better at your daily tasks, like Shawnee reaching for her baby over here. She got to be able to grab the babes and you know do all these crazy things that our body demands or carry groceries up five stairs. So once you're clear to do this, I do offer modifications throughout when needed. But because these are functional movements, these aren't chaotic moves that don't make any sense for your body. These are movements we should be able to do. We should be able to hinge at the hip, reach down and pick something off of the floor properly or sit down. We have to go to the bathroom every day. We're going to have to do that till we're, you know, 102. So we're going to have to be able to do these functional movements. So again, offering modifications when needed. And that's what I do do through the program all in those 20 minutes, which is fascinating. <laughs> so getting a lot done in these 20 minutes, that's for sure. Um, sorry. Um, Denise Wilson just put a great options for the vegan options, which those are great options. Tofu, seitan, like lentils, beans, hemp. Oh, quinoa, that's another great one. But some people don't like quinoa, you'd be surprised. I do, I love quinoa. So then it leads us to our next question, which was, what are my goals for 2022? I just recently wrote them down on a piece of paper. That's very powerful. I'm sure you all know this, but if you don't, writing things down and seeing them is important. Hence why job one comes with a notepad and a pen. I'm always, I wrote this whole program on pieces of white paper. Like I think other people do Google Docs, but I was like, I was writing a symphony over here in this living room. So, oh, sorry. That's, sorry. Um, 
That's my son calling. Uh, okay, so 2022, my goal is that job one truly does live out its purpose of reaching everyone. Everyone, and that doesn't mean every Beachbody subscriber. That means gives you the opportunity to reach new people. Job one is the program where you thought, oh, I'm not gonna approach her or him or they because they're gonna already say no. This is the program you go to them with because this speaks to the masses. This is an easy concept, a program that helps put you in the mindset that you are just as important as any other job you will ever have. You are job one. And what leads people not to do that is time. I, I can't dedicate that much time to myself. So here I've given you the solution, 20 minutes. So my goal in 2022 is to see people, I go to an airport and I see people wearing job one t-shirts. I see people, you know, using this content on TikTok, on social, and I'm like, oh, I recognize all those moves. Or I hear people that you changed my life, you helped me finally get a hold of my health and fitness. Because when you take the first step and you move and you take action through fitness, nutrition and everything else comes into play. Meaning you're able to make better decisions throughout your life. Without the fitness, without you physically taking action, it's really hard for people to just focus on their health. It's moving, it's sweating, it's feeling those endorphins. And that's what I hope to, to have in terms of uh, my goal for 2022 with job one. Personal goals, I have quite a few, but um, one of them is a cooking show that will be sponsored by uh, a few few brands and it would be in most likely the unlikeliest place that I wouldn't have thought, but I'm excited about that is to have a book by the end of the year that can be in people's hands because I don't assume everyone's on social media and they read it and it empowers them. It gives them the tools to unleash their best. So those are two personal goals for myself. I love that. Anybody who watches um, Jennifer on Instagram and she does her Betty fucking Crocker, um, I think effing, effing, effing. we can all envision the cookbook. That's amazing. Um, thank you so, so much. On behalf of Kim and Jamie and Crush Nation and Aaron, myself and the sisterhood, we are so appreciative that you took the time to do this. I truly believe our clients need that emotional connection to us, to our groups, to you, to the trainer. Like we're so lucky we had this opportunity. So I just cannot thank you enough um, for your time today. If anybody wants to you today, well. after Jennifer leaves, I'll answer some questions. Um, and uh, job one is available for purchase December 16th and I'll let you close. Thank you so much. And that's also another opportunity there to, you know, it's sometimes if you're just starting out to offer that support and accountability, one great thing that I just, you know, re recently discovered, obviously I'm new to Beachbody, are these bod groups, these opportunities on one platform to do everything. And so January 3rd, I'm going to be running an exclusive bod group. How to get into this bod group, you must yourself have purchased job one before December 28th and sell it a total solutions pack to one other person. You then are in this exclusive group that I'm running. I will go over the top in terms of not only helping support you through those four weeks, but also the ability to offer my nutrition approach and also how to go overtime without overdoing it. So that's what you'll, you'll have to look forward to. And that can help you create groups past that as well, how to run your groups. But I'm sure a lot of you, you'd be running the show, you can teach me a thing or two. And I'm excited to learn from you, most importantly, because you're all, in, I don't want to say every, anyway, I'm assuming there, there got to be one guy on here. Is there one guy on here? No, maybe. <laughs> um, hold on. Anyways, my point is, I am looking forward to learning from all of you. So just as much as I'm going to bring to you, I'm looking to get back from you as well. So. See this as we're in this together. 
I didn't just create job one and be like, okay, bye. I'm gonna go on vacation now. No, I'm here for the long run to help support this program until I start creating the next program. So here to support you, learn from you. I can't thank you enough. And I can't wait to see you all doing job one. Thank you so much, Jennifer. Thank you for having me. Yes. Pleasure. Bye. <laughs> oh wow. my gosh, Courtney, can I jump in for two seconds? Please. Hi guys. Okay, first of all, um, I am with this incredible crew of ladies. Melinda was just saying, and I think it's a really important point. Um, so this is, this is applicable for clients um, that are yet to purchase and applicable as well for the coaches as well. But like, I would rewatch this video because the amount of knowledge and incredible nuggets she just gifted us with is amazing for all of our journey. I know I want to sit back and think about it. I got emotional a couple different times thinking about these points. Number one, the community, right? Like what you are a part of with this is unmatched. I started doing job one by myself in an isolated hotel room. Um, and I was, I, I, I did push play and it was really good. And then this week I actually jumped on our morning zoom and I worked out 10 times harder and I had way more joy. And so use the zooms that you have available, whatever time zone you're in. I encourage you to do that. If you're a coach, if you're a client, if you're like, New, a new client and don't even understand what the zoom is um we will tell you but there is a zoom for everyone um and if you are in crush nation and you don't have a, a zoom space um i'm going to repost it today because it literally changed everything for me and i've been up before six um, most mornings this week and it feels i'm just like a cry uh, for those that if you know you know so um anyway accountability is everything support is everything jamie and i were talking about at dinner last night even seeing like even the body and seeing the on demand and the people working out and the live trainer is the same type of thing so i really want to encourage that if you aren't yet a zoom or you haven't tried it yet go try it and just see um so that's number one and number two i really loved what she said about nutrition and i loved what she said about feeling good is the goal and how beautiful is that? So I hope we go re-listen to that and we let it sink into our souls because I don't know about you, I've undone a lot of stuff being with Jennifer Jacobs. I've stopped intermittent fasting. I have eaten more carbohydrates and rice and proteins than I ever have in my life. I could cry and I feel satiated and I don't feel hungry and I'm not thinking about food all day. And if you're thinking about food all day, you're not eating enough. And I wanna remind you of all of that. Um, so this program has the ability because it's 20 minutes to gift you the permission to not be distracted by other things. I remember the longer workouts, I felt like I was really distracted because I could be going and working. I should be going and doing this. I should be doing that. I know that's a cluster and in my own mind, but it's the truth. So the 20 minutes I decided no one needs me for 20 minutes. And then if I do the 20 minutes twice, no one needs it. And hell, I just did 40 minutes and I had a better workout than ever before. So I want to share that with you from my heart because I think it's important. And guys, the fact that we have access to Jennifer Jacobs like this is unmatched and a real special gift. Um, that is because of the, the caliber of individuals on this team. That is because we are crushing it so to speak, right? Like we are, and we care about, about people, but most of all, it's the impact we're all making in our own lives. It's, it's she sees us taking radical ownership, um, whether or not you are a new client, whether or not you are uh, an existing client, whether or not you are a coach, you are taking radical ownership of your life. And she wants to celebrate that. So that's all I'd say. Thank you, Court and Erin and Sisterhood for organizing this because it's just life. And um, I'm really excited for all of us. This is a new thing. So I hope that you're investing in the January uh, groups and getting excited about that. Um, if you haven't yet purchased the program and you're still thinking about it, rewatch this video to get that connection with Jennifer because that's the game change. Stop thinking, just do it. Yeah. And yeah. And we've got to stop thinking, just do it. Oh, you're so good, Cam. I, I love it. That's it, guys. Let's go enjoy our Saturday, be present, uh, love on our families. And I think just over the course of the next couple of weeks, just like get emotionally connected to what we're going to do in January, because this program is absolutely incredible. And I cannot wait to restart it. Um, if you are a client or a prospect, if you're thinking about this, just reach back out to the person who invited you and tell them what you thought. And 
maybe ask a question or two. Bye guys, have an amazing day.